Welcome to the You Need More Money podcast, where I come to you every week from my studio in Dallas, Texas. The business of ethics, core values, ethics are everything. Everybody has to come to grips with this at some point. What do you tolerate? What do you stand for? What line in the sand are you not willing to cross? That's the big question. If you want to get into the top earners, you got to get crystal clear on your core values and your ethics. I'll give you a couple reasons for what I'm talking about. Number one, if you take a bribe, you just took a bribe. And you never know when that bribe is going to come back and bite you in the ass. So here's what I mean. You did a, you did a, 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 a jiggy deal. You, you delivered a customer who had decision-making authority an apple pie. And under the apple pie, you put $5,000 worth of $100 bills. It's just like the scene out of the movie Shawshank Redemption, where the guy needed the contract, the highway paving contract so badly that he delivered the warden who was on the take an apple pie homemade by his wife and underneath it were stacks of hundreds to make sure that he got the contract. So you did that and you get the contract and you feel terrible about it. And you say to yourself, man, I I can't believe I did that. I'll never do that again. And you run a perfect business for the next 10 years. Like no question about your ethics. And then all of a sudden, the guy that you went ahead and pinched and gave the bribe to falls on hard times. And he or she gives you a call and says, hey, remember when you gave me that apple pie with all those hundreds? Well, if you don't give me another apple pie with all those hundreds, I'm going to come and tell everybody that you took a bri- that you paid bribes. My point is you never know when you are on the take and it comes back to bite you. So the rule is never ever do it. Ever. Never bend the rules. That's the biggest thing about business ethics. Because the old adage is true. Desperate people do desperate things. Maybe you will bend the rules when you're tight. Maybe when the baby needs medicine. Maybe when there ain't no food on the table. But I'm here to tell you it's the biggest freaking mistake you would make in your life. Don't do it. One time, very early on in my business, I did a deal with a trucker. And that trucker brought me a massive amount of cash in a brown bag. And I remember calling my dad and saying, Dad, I got all this cash. What should I do with it? Because I was wondering, was my dad going to tell me, hey, go ahead and bury a little bit of it, put it in your rainy day fund, just stack and rack it in little blue, which is the name of a safe. And my dad said, what would you do if that customer brought you that cash rather than in cash, it was in a check? And I said, well, I would deposit it. And he said, that's exactly what you're going to do with that cash. And that's exactly what I did. And I never wavered on it. The business of ethics is what it all comes down to. It's how you put your head on the pillow at the end of the night. It's the most important thing that you want to be known for in your career and in your life. When it's all over, you want to be known as the person that played it straight. Never wavered on it. We have a quote in my office. It's from Oprah Winfrey. And it says, real integrity is doing the right thing, knowing that nobody's going to know whether you did the right thing or not. That's the beautiful part of business ethics and integrity and strict core values and adherence to those core values. It's the ability for you to know that you never bent the rules in the dark side. You never went the wrong direction. Look, I never met Jordan Belfort, the the wolf of Wall Street. 
I never met him. I never shook his hand. I never been introduced to him. But I know for a damn sure that Jordan Belfort would have made millions and millions and millions of dollars if he had played his career on Wall Street straight. It's really the most interesting thing about a lot of criminals is they probably were so, uh, would have been so successful if they would played it straight anyway, but they allowed the dark side to grab them. And the dark side is nasty, man. You're going to have friends who are telling you about it. You're going to have colleagues who are, hell, you might even been brought up with all, all your heroes doing it. I'm telling you, man, in business, in life, in your own personal journey, the most important thing you can do is play it straight. I have left millions of dollars on the table by playing it straight. Now, let me get you a real specific example. There are guys in my industry who run businesses who don't treat their employees as W-2 employees. They treat them as 1099 employees. Like they tell them when to come to work, they provide the phones, they provide the office, they provide the, the computers, and yet to skirt payroll taxes, they treat their employees as 1099 independent contractors. Now, depending on what your payroll run is, that's 8.25%. So if you got a million dollars worth of payroll, you just saved 82,500 bucks. That's a lot of money to some people. That's a big chunk of change for a small business. But you can't bend those freaking rules, man. You got to play it straight. So the reason for this podcast is to remind you that when you are given the choice to cross the line and go to the dark side or stay on the light, the light is playing it straight, playing it legitimate, playing it fair. Play it fair. Don't bend those rules, man. Figure out some other way to bend the rule on your core value. Your core value might be, I'm going to work out every single day. Go eat a cheeseburger. Bend that rule. But don't bend the rule when it comes to business ethics. You want to know, be known as the person who played it straight, who can be trusted through good times and bad, and that reputation will always be worth more than the ability to take or give a bribe or bend the rules for a piece of business. I'll see you down the road.